Hello, I'm Penley the Penguin, and I'm here to talk to you about mathematics and to give you some interesting penguin facts. Now, many people wonder why don't we penguins get cold when we live in very cold regions of the world. There are two basic reasons. One is that we store a lot of fat around our bodies, and that fat can be used as an insulator from the cold against the inner parts of our bodies. But the real reason we stay warm is that our, we have an outer feathers, stiff outer feathers, and those feathers serve as a windbreak. They keep the wind out of our body, and then inside of those hard feathers are soft downy feathers that act as insulation, much like the insulation in the walls of your house. We're going to talk about using place value to round to the nearest ten, and to the nearest hundred. So let's look at example one. Example one, we're going to round to the nearest ten. The first thing we have to do is identify the tens place. So I'm going to identify the tens place here, here, and here. We look to the number directly to the right of the tens place. If the number is five or greater, we round up one. If, we, if the number is less than five, the number remains the same. So 64, we have to say, is 64 closer to 60 or 70, and because 4 is less than 5, 64 is closer to 60. 76, we look directly to the right, 6 is greater than 5, so 76 is closer to 80 than it is to 70. Is 85 closer to 80 or 90? Well, it's right in the middle, but by convention, if the number to the right of the tens place is 5 or greater, we round up. Now, what if it's a little more complicated when we're talking about we're rounding to the tens and we have a number 272. So first, identify the tens place. That's the hundred, so this is the tens and we look to the right of the tens place. This is a 2, so we the 7 stays the same. So 272 becomes 270 when we round. We look to the right of the 2. 9 is greater than 5, so the 2 will go up to 3. So instead of 429, it's 430. 853, once again we know this is the tens place, to the right 3 is less than 5, so the 5 remains the same, and 853 becomes 850. Now we're going to do a similar thing, rounding to the nearest hundred. First identify the hundreds place. 481, 342, 569. Look to the right of the hundred. This is 8, greater than 5, so 481 goes up to 500. 342, the 4 is less than 5, so 300 remains 300. 569, the number to the right of the 500 is a 6, larger than 5, so we round up to 600. Once again, it's a little more complicated when we have numbers bigger than hundreds, but we identify the hundreds, 2145. 8,239, 4,700. Okay, and then we're going to round to the hundreds. The thousands stay the same. 100 is going to stay the same because the 4 is smaller than 5. So it's 2,100. 8,239, we look to the right of the 100, and that's a 3. 3 is less than 5, so the 200 remains the same. So it's 8,200. So again, we look at the hundreds, look to the, to the digit to the right. It's a 9, which is greater than 5. So what do you think happens? Yes, the 700 becomes 800. So it's 4,800. I hope you learned a little bit about rounding. Have a good day.